Hello everyone! We have collected all the most interesting news of the day for you. Euro 2020, Copa America and big transfer news. Sit back and subscribe to the channel. With us, you will know everything you need. Today we are looking forward to the super match France vs Germany. What are your predictions for the game, friends? Write them down in the comments. And now smash that like button because we are getting started. The title with the Argentine national team is my big dream. I have already been close many times. Lionel Messi admitted. Spain broke the Euro record for ball possession. 85.1% against Sweden. Spain made 953 passes with 5 shots on target in the match against Sweden. The game ended with a score of 0-0. Juventus may sign Torino Sirego as the second goalkeeper. Napoli is also interested. Arsenal is ready to pay 40 million euros for Locatelli, but the midfielder prefers Juventus. De Bruyne trains in the general group of the Belgian national team. He can play against the Denmark national team. I would like to have more chances, but this is Euro, we have to adapt. Lewandowski complained. Pedri broke Spain's record playing in the Euro at 18 years and 201 days. He became the youngest Spanish footballer to play in either the World Cup or the European Championship. The conflict between Giroud and Mbappe, this made more noise outside the team than inside, Hugo Lloris said. Former Inter defender Maicon moved to Trapana from San Marino. Since January, the Brazilian has been playing for Sona from the Italian 4th Division. Arsenal wants to extend their contract with Enketia. The forward is interesting to Bayer and West Ham. Kylian Mbappe is a world-class player, but we often come across them. We need to defend stably, Manuel Neuer said. Ronaldo scores a lot, but Messi is more important. In terms of technique, he is on a different level, Roberto Donadoni says. Friends, I'm calm because Germany has done what it wanted in the last 14 days, said Joachim Löw before the match. That has never prevented Manchester United from signing players. We are planning transfers said Man United owner Joel Glazer. Laporte wants to go to Barcelona and asks Man City to let him go. We have a younger team than in 2016, and only the competition will show whether we are stronger or weaker than in 2016, Cristiano Ronaldo says. Wojciech Szczesny is the author of the first goalkeeper's own goal in Euro history. Liverpool and Adrian renew their contract. Glad to say, it's a big club and a big family, the Spaniard said. Schick scored against Scotland from a distance of 45.44 meters. This is a record of the European Championships since 1980, since such statistics have been kept. Nobody scored from a longer distance. Milan wants to close the transfer of Giroud in 84 hours. The player needs to terminate his contract with Chelsea. UEFA offered the Danish team three options. Play out immediately, at noon the next day, or score no three. Did the players have a choice? Said Peter Schmeichel. Yaya Torre joined the coaching staff of the club of the Russian Premier League Ahmad. England could have fielded three teams. They are among the obvious favorites for the Euro, Roger said. A fan fell from the Wembley stand during the England-Croatia match. He is in a hospital in serious condition. Griezmann is not always treated fairly in Barcelona. He had a good season, but the bar is too high, says Clement Langlais. Barca wants to receive from 5 to 10 million euros for Umtiti. He was bought for 25 million dollars. Before there was an extraordinary Zico, today Neymar, and before him there were Romario and Ronaldo. Brazil national team manager Tite praised Neymar. Argentina's national team has never depended on me. We are strong as a team, Lionel Messi said. Mbappe is often annoyed when things don't go the way he wants. It reminds me of Neymar. Emmanuel Petit shared his opinion. Spain tried to create chances, but the pitch was not the best. The players complained, said Luis Enrique after the match. Messi became Argentina's record holder for goals in official matches. Lionel scored the 39th goal for the national team in official matches and broke Batistuta's record. In total, Messi scored 73 goals for the national team. Yesterday, a number of matches took place at Euro and Copa America. All the results are in front of you.
And now, let's move on to the main news. There were three matches yesterday at the Euro. The Czech Republic won against the Scots thanks to Schick's double. We wanna point out his second goal from the center of the pitch. Of course, Patrick was named the best player of the match. The Slovak national team surprised us by the victory over Poland led by Lewandowski. The outcome of the match was decided by the goal of Strinier and the own goal of Szczesny. Linetti scored for the Poles. We also note the red card of Krochowiak, received in the 62nd minute. In the last game of the match day, the Spanish national team failed to beat Sweden. With the total dominance of the Spaniards, the match ended in a goalless draw. Copa America kicked off. The Brazilian national team confidently defeated Venezuela 3-0. Goals were scored by Marquinhos, Neymar and Gabriel Barbosa. Colombia also started with a victory. They beat Ecuador 1-0. The winning goal is an asset of Cardona. In the final match of the day, the national teams of Argentina and Chile met. The Chileans responded to Messi's magnificent goal from the free kick with the goal of Vargas after a penalty missed by Vidal. Let's move it on. Defender Sergio Ramos may remain at Real Madrid despite the difficult negotiations on a new contract. As reported, the player now agrees to the conditions put forward by Real Madrid, but the club believes that the offer has expired. On Friday, the Spaniard met with Madrid president Florentino Perez. The parties discussed the current situation, and at the end of the meeting it became clear that Real is ready to make another offer to Ramos on a new contract. The club is seriously concerned about the situation around defender Rafael Varane who doesn't agree to a contract extension. Real Madrid may sell the Frenchman this summer if he doesn't respond to the club's offer. In this situation, Real would prefer to keep Ramos in the squad if the defender is willing to compromise, writes us. Memphis Depay agreed to move to Barcelona, reports the journalist Luis Canut, who is considered a friend of Ronald Koeman. Koeman was directly involved in the negotiations process on Depay and this has bore fruit. The journalist is sure that Depay has already signed a contract with Barca. The transfer can be announced today. The presentation of the player will take place after the Euro. We are waiting for official confirmation. Juventus and Portugal forward Cristiano Ronaldo spoke about his future amid information about a possible departure from the club. I've been playing at the highest level for 18 years. All these talks do not bother me. Whatever happens, it will be the best. Whether I stay or leave is not the most important thing now. I am focused on playing for the national team, Ronaldo said. What should be noted? Most importantly, for the first time, Cristiano Ronaldo publicly admitted the possibility of leaving Juve. And this is a big news. But according to Sky, so far no offers have come to the Juventus office on Ronaldo. Portugal striker Cristiano Ronaldo was unhappy with the fact that Coca-Cola bottles were placed on the table at a press conference before the Euro 2020 match against Hungary. The footballer came to talk to the press and drew attention to the Coca-Cola bottles that were on the table. After that, the Portuguese pushed the bottles away, leaving only water in front of him. Danish and inter midfielder Christian Eriksen spoke about his health after suffering a cardiac arrest during the Euro 2020 match with Finland. I will not give up. I'm better now, but I want to understand what happened to me. I want to thank everyone for what you have done for me," Eriksson said. He spoke yesterday morning. He was joking, he was in a good mood, he was okay. We all want to understand what happened to him. He also wants to find out. Doctors carry out in-depth examinations, it will take time," said Eriksson's agent Martin Schutz. Friends, watch the suggested videos. It was Football News. We continue following the European Championship. Thank you all for watching, have a nice one and see you in a bit!